Happy morning, good morning, Red Army. This is Casey, aka Face. I'm doing this with 1870 Casuals. We brought you by Terrence Cold and Umumia ice cream. Shout out to Mark, watch the game with us. Uh, he knows the deal, love that ice cream. I call it ice dreams. But anyway, uh, Eric Ten Hogg surprises us again. Rashford, consistently brilliant. David De Gea hits a milestone, and Bruno, our captain, was man of the match. Uh, this Sunday, Manchester United had the pleasure to bring uh, Leicester City to Old Trafford. The game turned out to be a 3-0 victory. But if you're going by the first 20 minutes, it didn't seem like it was going to go that way. We seemed a little bit disjointed. The Mandem seemed like they didn't even play together before. It was just the cohesion thing was a little bit off. You know, there was a bit of concern for the Reds because, you know, they were getting in areas. They were having a lot of joy coming up um, their right, which was our left. Um... We'll talk about it later, but they were just able to attack a will, and we just seemed to be out of position. But if it wasn't for the brilliance and the shot saving qualities of the one they called David De Gea, we would have been in a hole. We would have been down 2 0, 2 clock, and then it would have been, you know, I wouldn't say we would have lost, but it would have been a, a, a tough battle to come back from that. But the boss noticed this thing that was going, well, first, let's. Go, we, the first 20 minutes was crazy, but then, uh, what can you say? The one of them called Marcus Rashford gets a, a beautiful pass from Bruno. It was, it was something off the man foot, outside right foot. He did this up, and the ball just curved for Rashi. Rashi could have, you know, he had Sancho, uh, Ganacho open to the left, but you know what the boy do when you're in the form as he is? Lick the ball. Boy, did he put a strike on that thing. Uh, the goalie didn't have a shot. He did some split, looked up in the air like this is going to be a long day, and Rashi con continues to score at Trafford. I think he has a nine or eight game goal streak at Trafford, which is phenomenal. Marcus Rashford is doing things that we could not imagine. We could not even predict. Nobody could predict that was coming, but that has all to do with the boss. Now, so we go at halftime up 1-0. The boss decided to make a change. He would take Garnacha off the field, move Woot back up to the number 10, move Rashi back over to the um, to the right, and move Sanch, uh, move no, no, move Rashi to the left, kept, move Bruno or left Bruno on the right, and then he brings in Jade and Sancho and put him in the number 10 role. That was the move. It opened up all things. It made... Everything in the back worked better because we were able to have a longer hold-up play. Woot, listen, <clears throat> Woot has been doing a marvelous job. He has been able to adjust to all the demands of the team to fit the team. Yes, Woot is not scoring big goals, and a lot of Reds seem to draw concern, but what he does, the brilliance of our boss was able to use his abilities and his attributes to sit, fit the team by dropping him to a number 10, what was a surprise, um, for the last two matches, it, it, it was working. But this game, it tended not to work because I felt that um, Leicester City was attacking that more. And they understood that Woot is not good at quick passing. So they, they constricted him a little bit more. And that was brilliance on um, Brendan Rodgers to do that. But then he didn't understand that we we were working with a madman, a mad scientist over here. By bringing in Jay DeSancho, he eliminated all that. And Rodgers did not have anything to counter that. The in-game tactical brilliance of Eric Ten Hag is just over the moon. Now, by bringing that, we were able to get pa quicker passes in there, keep the ball longer, and that benefited the defense in the back and get them more adjusted. So, the second half, we just carved them up. We were finding little lines in, in, in the spaces, um, doing good one-twos. Uh, it was just a thing of brilliance, and, you know, Bruno had another sister, Jaden Sanchez, the third goal. Mark Rashi had a, a second goal, which was, it's, it's Rashi. It is what it is, you know. It's it's hard to use any more words to describe what he's going through, but it's just absolutely magnificent. Um, it was good to see Jaden score on the third goal. Jaden coming in for Garnacho, it just shows that it's nothing. I don't think it's anything bad about Garnacho. It just shows that he's not mature enough to lead a game yet. But coming off the bench, he's very lethal. He's a lethal weapon. Bruno had two um, 
two assists, like I already said in the match. Bruno, to me, was man in the match. He was everywhere. His defense was everywhere. Bruno is the exact definition of what a leader should be. Bruno has missed, in his career, injury-wise, either one match or two. Think about that. The man is dependable, durable. He, ha he, he, hasn't, he hasn't stopped playing footy for the longest. What is he on? This man is on a madness. So Bruno, to me, was man of the match. David De Gea also hit a milestone for the Reds. Uh, he became our clean sheet record holder. Actually, he's tied with Peter Schmeichel. That's a great achievement for David De Gea. I felt personally in the last 10 years, there's no player more important to the Manchester United Football Club than David De Gea. He's been a consistent guardian of the club. He's been um, dependable. In I think there's year. I think there's a year. I believe there's a year he got us to the Champions League just from a goalie position, which is unheard of. A lot of people, you know, say that Davis has his faults. Yes, he does. But one thing he does, he makes big saves. Dave saves. We cannot deny that. Uh, it was good to see Sancho like again to get on a uh, scoring. You know, this is just a tribute to Ten Hag and his brilliance of working with players and getting the best out of them. Right now, it's a good time to be a Red. You know, we have the takeover looming. You know, there's something that's out of our hands, but we've all had our opinions. We'll probably have a video on that specifically later on at the, with, from the casuals. But, you know, 3-0 is good. We, we, we were two points away from City, five points out of first. It's funny. Liverpool is seven points out of fourth place, and people have said that they're still in the top four race. We're five play, points out of first, and nobody seems to want to take that we are in a Premier League chase. Hold on to that. All right, this has been Casey, a.k.a. for 187 Day Casuals. We're brought to you by Terrell's Cult and Moo Moo Mia Ice Cream. Hey, let's keep it going. Let's up the reds, and we're never happy to these Glazers are up out of this Ross Glottin. Have a good Monday, everybody. Peace.